The next game up here is Washington at Atlanta, and man, oh man, the Falcons are just absolute trash. Once again, blowing the lead again, and give it up to Taylor Heineke, being cool as a cucumber, making some absolutely monstrous throws, and give it up to Terry McLaurin, making some monstrous catches to come back from behind, put up 34 points, and to win this game on the road. I don't know if Ryan Fitzpatrick wins this game, so I'm glad that Taylor Heineke is getting this opportunity to truly showcase what he can do during a full season. And he's got the team at 2-2, two and two, putting up points, moving the ball, coming from behind, winning the game. So fantastic there by Taylor Heineke. So let's start breaking down this Washington team. Here we go. Taylor Heineke goes 23 of 33. What do we got? 69% completion percentage. Fantastic. 290 yards, airing it out. Three touchdowns, no interceptions. Uh, didn't fumble the ball either. No turnovers here for this Washington team. Absolutely fantastic. The running attack, Antonio Gibson, 14 carries for 63 yards and a touchdown. He's truly being solid out here. Um, you know, he's uh, definitely a great tier two running back option. There's some glimpses and, uh, yeah, glimpses of uh, shimmers of hope of Antonio Gibson trying to kind of crack that A1 kind of running back uh, tier. Uh, not quite there yet, but he's definitely improving every single week, and he's just being consistent and doing what he needs to do. So uh, I, I, I can't can't say enough good things out of, uh, about Antonio Gibson. Great, great work. Uh, J.D. McKissick, seven carries for 15 yards, and then Taylor Heineke taking off five times for 43 yards as well. All right, who, let's see who Taylor Heineke was throwing the ball to. Six, uh, Terry McLaurin, six receptions for 123 yards and two touchdowns, folks, coming in big time. Let's see where these touchdowns came by Terry McLaurin. So the first one came to get them out uh, rolling. Uh, they were down 7 nothing, and then Terry McLaurin makes it 10-7. to and then Terry McLaurin's second touchdown reception comes in the fourth quarter to make it 28 to 23 when they were down uh, 30 to 22 so unfortunately don't get the two-point conversion and then I believe he ends up helping out here on this touchdown drive do we get a big play no no big play to Terry McLaurin and on the game winning drive but either way he set them up to potentially get that game winning drive so well done by Terry McLaurin making some nice big catches and responsible for 123 yards and two touchdowns being their best wide receiver and Taylor, and, uh, Taylor Heineke utilizing his weapons that's what we love then we get J.D. McKissick, a running back, second leading receiver, five receptions for 44 yards and a touchdown. Then DeAndre Carter, one reception, 24 yards. Adam, Heffer, Adam Humphreys, one reception, 19 yards. Curtis Samuel, four receptions, 19 yards. And then Ricky Seals-Jones, two receptions, 19 yards. So just utilizing Terry, Terry McLaurin all over the place. We absolutely love it. All right, now the Falcons. I mean, man, oh, man, another blown lead. They were up 10-0. Blew that. Then they got up 17 to 13. Blew that. Then they got up 30 to 22 and blew that right at the end of the game. So once again, the Falcons are the same old Falcons. You have to totally rebuild this team. Matt Ryan is just not the answer. He can't get it done between the 20s and the tw he can only get it done between the 20s and the 20s. Can't uh, you know get touchdowns. Settles for field goals over and over and over again. I'm um, just looking not great out here. So. This Falcons team, it's got to change. It's not the coach. It's the quarterback. It's the offensive coordinator. It's all of that. You got to blow it up. You got to move on. They're not getting it done. They put up 30 points, which seems great, but you end up blowing a lead, and we know that the Falcons blow leads. That's their that's their meme, folks. Um, so Matt Ryan goes 25 of 42, just 59% completion percentage. Absolutely trash. 283 yards, solid there. Four touchdowns, no picks. I mean, that's good, but it's not resulting in two wins. So this is what we know about the Falcons all the time. Yeah, they put up some points and they're able to move the ball, but then the defense doesn't come up. And when the defense comes up, you know, uh, Matt Ryan can't take advantage. So it's just everything with this Falcons team. It's not working. And their new head coach is not kind of the, the end all be all solution here. The they're one and three, like we know this Falcons team usually is. So Matt Ryan isn't kind of this clutch quarterback that can always get it done. Um, Cordell Patterson in the run game was the leading rusher, six receptions for 34 yards. Then we had Wayne Gallman, six reception or six carries for 29 yards. Mike Davis, 13 carries for 14 yards. That's atrocious. <laughs> so once again, we never liked Mike Davis in this running attack. Here is nothing special here by this Falcons team. 
So Cordell Patterson was the leading rusher, and he was the leading receiver. Five receptions for 82 yards, and he had three touchdowns. Calvin Ridley, seven receptions for 80 yards. Kyle Pitts, four receptions for 50 yards. Hayden Hurst, four receptions for 29 yards. They've got so much great wide receiver talent that, once again, you know, Matt Ryan throwing 59% completion percentage and just being lackluster the entire season so far. There's really no excuses in terms of weapons. These are great weapons out here, and they're still losing games and barely putting up points. Yes, they put up 30 points this game, but that's really all they've done all season. They went they got blown out by the Bucks two weeks ago, and once again, they put up like 25 points, but they put up the bulk of those points when the game was basically over. So, it, it, it's just this Falcons team. There's a big stigma to them. you got to blow it all up. Matt Ryan, uh, unfortunately, needs to get out of here, and they need to get a great running back and try to preserve Calvin Ridley and Kyle Pitts because that's really who you should be rebuilding around, and we'll see if they do that come this offseason where they get a pretty high draft pick, I'm sure. So, Falcons lose 34-30. to uh, This Washington defense is done. I don't think this is like an elite defense anymore. Um, so, they're truly having to kind of rely on their passing game. And their passing game is starting to kind of get there. So, this Washington offense is good. This Washington defense needs to kind of figure out what they did last season and get back to that. But so far, this Washington defense is not what it was last season, which won them all the games. So, Taylor Heineke kind of proving out that he can kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe in a shootout, which is great. And I'm glad that Taylor Heineke is getting his look out here. And uh, hopefully they don't go back to Ryan Fitzpatrick. I don't think there's any need to. You got Taylor ha Taylor Heineke at 2-2. Two and two. I don't know if Ryan Fitzpatrick does any better than 2-2, two and two, honestly. So I keep Taylor Heineke, and hopefully they do. He's got them with another win out here.